Welcome back to Murphy's Diesel, folks. Boy, do we have a little treat for you. It's our compound turbo setup for Hellboy. Right there in that box. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? We gotta throw our turbos on in order to get our shock brackets on the front. We've got our back back suspension all done. Well, everything but the shocks. We don't have shocks yet for the back, so we're waiting for those. Uh, but right now, what we're working on is we gotta get this turbo off and we gotta uh, put this compound set up on there because we built some shock brackets for these shocks and they were so tight we were scared to put them on because this compound turbo setup is going to really take up a lot of room so we may need to fab up some better um, shock towers that give us a little bit more clearance so uh, that's what we're going to be doing today Mark's, Mark's pulling all the what are you doing? Pulling out the fuel line so we can get a fast fuel system set in it. Yeah, that's right, folks. Fast fuel system. So, stand by. Boy, I'll tell you what. It sure is nice working on Hellboy now. You know? You can really just get right up in here. You know? and I mean, the hood's closed. Partially. I mean, boy, this is handy, huh? There's plenty of leg room. really get inside here I probably need a stool yeah probably so uh, but yeah this old bad Larry's coming off this is called this is called the Terminator folks and um, this old DPS Terminator we got we're gonna use this turbo uh, in conjunction with the new turbo so all this is coming out this is coming out uh, this is actually gonna go on Black Betty we're gonna because we're not going to use this manifold on Hellboy. So we're going to put the, the whole compound turbos on it. And then we're just going to run a stack right out the hood right there. So, I don't know, folks. We may just dump it out the side right here. It's right through here. Right here. Or, or hood stack it. I don't know yet. But whatever we do, it's going to suck for the passengers. Well, folks, uh, a lot of you wanted to see this wheel lift gone, so here you go. Hellboy just shed a couple thousand pounds. At least 1,500 for sure. That's quite the piece of artillery, huh, folks? Huh, Caleb? It is. Yes, sir. I'll put it on my truck now. Huh? I put this on my truck. Put it on the Ford Ranger. <laughs> then we're going to cut this off about right here. Just bob it right off the back, and we'll have our sling still. We'll do all our toes with sling. And uh, I don't know what we're going to do with this wheel lift. It'll be for another project. And we don't need this, the wheel lift anymore because we're going to actually put spades on this truck. We're going to put some big old gnarly spades like right here. So Hellboy will pick up the weight again. You know, it's going to lose it in the wheel lift and then it's going to gain it in the, with the spades. So it's, uh, we like to use spades around here, you know. We pull on a lot of heavy stuff, and and if you don't have spades or a big iron bumper and you can run scotch blocks, we do a lot of winching around here. Getting the rear steer hooked up. We're doing that under our rod. Welding it out. Weld out the frame brackets.
probably good, huh? Huh? It's probably good. With what? In the show. <laughs> Okay. You just made like a bomb. I am. What are you doing? That ain't gonna work. What? You're gonna catch that tire on fire. What? Yeah, put a quit. satellite in there. Huh? Put a satellite in there. You put it up. Looks like you hit it with ether though. It did both. Yeah. Yeah, just put the acetylene in there. You're not putting oxygen in there, right? Acetylene? Yeah. Yeah? Alright. I'm gonna do the trick. What are you doing? Get in there. <laughs> Never doing anything. All right, guys, got her hooked up. Got the bags in there, got everything welded up, somewhat, enough. We're gonna burn a lot of this in with stick, especially on the axle assembly. We're gonna stick most of that. So most of everything's got just a couple little stringers on it just to hold it together. But yeah, everything on the axle will burn in we're gonna air these bags up though and see how it sets. Got a little regulator here hooked up. There she goes. Yep. You off over there. Yeah. Oh, it's going up hot. Got some radius on it, don't they, folks? Oh, yeah. Am I gonna hit anything over there, Kate? Oh, you're good. Jesus, we need to tighten that down. What am I hitting? Over here? Nothing? Oh, I'm hitting the stops. <laughs> well. Uh, that'll do it. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to take those out. Old secret, huh? An old trick. Old Indian trick. It's the trick of the pros, folks. Tip of the pros. What are you doing here? Huh? What are you doing here? Marking the hood so I can put my crossbomber in for my shock tires. It's the night before we're going to the expo and boy let me tell you we sure do have a lot of work to do. <laughs> well we got both shock tires on the release huh?
night oil, folks. It's our last night. We got the got the hood trimmed up. For our shock tower cross member to go through, which we haven't built yet. We got hot rod in there. Welding out our shock tower. Burning the midnight oil. We're gonna throw Hellboy's bumper back on him. Got De Niro out here past his bedtime. Child endangerment. Yeah, I do think. think. Do you think it's gonna do it? Is it it's gonna lay over flat and spin. No, do you think it's gonna, do you think the truck's gonna do it? Oh, no, not at all. I think it's too small. I think we need to put them out right here. Yeah. I think we need a bigger one. Do you think it's gonna do it, Mark? Oh, I think we need a bigger one. Bigger truck. Yeah, maybe need a bigger truck, I don't know. It was tied on there, I'll tell you that. Okay, we need to come down and watch. What? My little orange puddle bar is in the bottom of my box. Where it always goes. Grab the crescent wrench too, that might help you pry on that. Can I give you a new one? I didn't, he hasn't been back yet. He'll be back next week. Is your side in? Need a hand with that or got her? Yeah. Where did you go? It's about one o'clock in the morning, folks, and we finally got our first shock tower welded up. It's going on the frame right now. We got the bumper on. All this welding on Hellboy's frame has got it tweaked a little bit, folks. Different cross members, new cross members taking out cross members so took some doing to get this whole bumper back on there but we got her we had to use one of our smaller trucks to do it she is looking good folks hellboy is looking good we got some lights you know uh, polaris hooked us up with some lights they fit perfect right there Got the hole cut in the hood. I don't know if we're gonna get that far just to put these on tonight, you know? But this video is brought to you by Polaris. Yeah, I'm just kidding. Sponsor. I'm just kidding. Those cheap just didn't want to sponsor us. So. These came right out of their old wrecker rig billfold. You know, can't win them all, folks. <clears throat> Another thing, uh, folks, uh, we have run out of wire, so we have uh, broke out the old rod. That's right. Back to stick welding, folks. Well, we do best around here. Huh? That's why they call me Hot Rod. What? That's why they call me Hot Rod. That's right. Thank you.
Well folks, Hayden got the call, he had to go. And it was his dispatch telling him he had to bring a welder out to Ashford so we could get this truck done. Are you ready to unload that welder, Hayden? Yes sir, let's get it done. Hayden the Greenhorn. Y'all remember Hayden the Greenhorn? What wreck was that? Oh shoot, that was a paper roll wreck. From the paper roll wreck. Hey Tate, whip this rotator around and let's get that welder out. It's a good thing we got plenty of trucks around here. To... Think it'll do it? Might wanna run these old outriggers out for this job, folks. Pardon me. Folks, four o'clock in the morning. Thanks, bro. Um, Tate's been missing for about five hours. Got you a nice little nap. What? What were you doing? Uh, um, well, we finally got everything ready. We're gonna lift the truck now and set it on these coilovers and see see how she sits. See if it's gonna sink all the way down to the ground. See if these coilovers are gonna hold it. Never hold that. So stand by, folks. Um. I see Mark's quivering, quaking in his boots. Shivering. Your eyes are so red. Fired. Alright folks, it's coming down. What's it gonna do? Come on, Shock towers. <laughs> Launch through the bed right now. Getting in, it's a little bit of a struggle. 
tie you a rope off to that bracket right there. And yeah, like a lanyard. I'm only what I am, and I still have a hard time doing it. You're equipped with that. Not up here. Just from here down. Thing. Looks pretty good. Question is, what do you think, Hot Rod? Looks pretty good. It's in almost perfectly level right now. Man. It looks good. I can't wait to fire up the twin turbos. Can't wait for that air compressor to yeah. How about killing the air compressor, dog? Look at those freaking shots just centered in those. Look way better now we jump through. Yeah. Big day. Well. Well folks, she's sitting on her own. It only took us uh, 36 hours to get her there. Consecutive hours. And morning. Down shocks. I put airbags on a truck one time and I just hooked the airbags together. Yeah. And front and rear. And I went around the corner and the truck just freaking oh, almost yeah, laid over on its side back. because all the air went out of the right. airbags on the one side and put all the air into the other bags and the momentum almost yeah. tipped the truck over. Yeah. There she is, folks. We finally got her out after uh, pulling an all-nighter, an all-dayer, an all-nighter, and into another all-dayer. So,
Oh, the things I do for a chili dog right now. How is that now? I need to bring my own sunglasses. What? Well, that's you huh? They almost look cooler just on the trailer. They're so tall. Yeah. Just leave them on the trailer? Yeah. Folks, that's it. We made it down to the expo. We got unloaded. At about four o'clock this morning, we got Hellboy sitting on its own weight. Uh, got the rear wheel steer activated. Got got a lot done, folks. Got some headlights mounted on there. Hellboy is sitting down there at the off-road expo as we speak. He's also, Black Betty's there, Devil Dog, uh, Free Bird. We didn't get our off-road rollback going, unfortunately. Uh, I had to pull the transfer case back out today and work on the transfer case, and um, it was too late to get it in the expo, so. We will keep you updated on YouTube about the new off-road roll back so 36 hours so we worked straight through last night and by the time we got 
Hellboy sitting on its own weight. People start showing back up to work, so uh, we're like, well, we better stay here and keep pounding on Hellboy so we can get it on a trailer and get it down to the expo. Well, we didn't end up, we still worked on Hellboy until 3 o'clock this afternoon, and it's still, still not finished, so you stay classy 36 hour non-stop Hellboy build. Folks, the time has come to draw one lucky winner, okay. and Indy's gonna be the one to draw it. Ain't that right? Come over here, Indy. <laughs> Who's it gonna be, Indy? Huh? Who's it gonna be? There you go. Yeah. Say, well, Murphy, folks. welcome to Murphy's Pizza. Say, stay classy. Get over here. Stay classy. Alright, draw a ticket. One, one ticket. Okay. Read it off. You're screwed, Kevin Forrest. <laughs> do I do another one? Dad, do I draw another one? That's we know who that is. <laughs> who is that? Cody Brand. All right, Kevin Forrest. <laughs> you won yourself a record rig rope. No, 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 what are you doing? <laughs> okay, runner up, go ahead. Somebody else is getting a record rig rope. Uh, Can't. All right, folks. Uh, so box. we're doing. We did the raffle. We're gonna do another online one. I've had quite a few of you folks asking why we're not doing a online, uh, making it online so they can participate. So I'll tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna make an online raffle for y'all. Uh, except for you're not gonna have to buy raffle tickets and spend money on useless raffle tickets. Um, Unless you want to. Unless you want to just buy raffle tickets, fine. But if you don't, buy some merch and we'll give you uh, one raffle ticket for every dollar you spend. One entry for every dollar you spend. And this is what you'll win. Get yourself a Wrecker Rick Rope kit. Comes with uh, two slings. Two of these bad Larrys. Rated 86 hundred pounds in a basket folks so nobody else has these the only place you can get them is Bailey's and Murphy's diesel get you two soft slings and a wrecker Rick rope right here this bad Jackson kinetic energy rope 30,600 breaking strength folks so 30,600 a one inch wrecker Rick rope so, um, this is what we use in all our videos. Check it out. It works like magic, folks. And this rope is made by Samson. Came comes from Bailey's. So, get yourself some of the good stuff, folks. Get yourself a Wrecker Rick rope kit. All you gotta do is buy some merch. The raffle's gonna end October 31st. Tell them, babe. October 31st. So, comes in a sweet carrying bag, satchel, if you will. So. Oh, and also, <laughs> I would just like to say for all of you that saw that one sweatshirt that says this, 
on the back. And we're like, I want one for my sister, or I want one for my wife, for my girlfriend, or whatnot. I put them on the online store, and I have only sold two this whole time. So if you want one for your special lady, or even if you yourself like them, they're on the store in this color and black. This expo uh, wasn't that big, folks. You know, they need some help. This is only their second year doing it. So you all ought to come out and check it out. It was, it was pretty windy, let me tell you, is when you're in a well digger's asshole out here. And uh, there wasn't a lot of, a lot of people didn't show up. So at least they weren't over here. Luckily for, for us, a lot of our subscribers come. Uh, we had several subscribers come out and get them a nice gold Topo Chico. Uh -huh. And uh, we'd like to send a special thanks out to them folks for attending the Off-Road Expo. Todd Evans from Australia. Thanks for coming out. Todd Evans from Australia stopped by the other day and um, talked and talked and talked <laughs> and talked and talked some more. And But it was enjoyable, Todd. Thanks for stopping by. I learned a lot about Australia. Thanks for thanks for going to breakfast with us. And a uh, real cool guy. Thanks for supporting us. Oh, yeah. uh, yeah, the expo, uh, the expo was cool. A lot of work on Hellboy to get him here. And, and you all missed it. I can't you believe you have not yeah. <laughs> Comment below if you think we should go to see him, folks. Get out of that stroller. What? Stand back. Got our Yankum set up, our five part winch line set up. Uh, look at that, just with the pull of my hand, I'm moving Hellboy. Got Black Betty out here. Look at the new wrap on Freebird. Got devil dog out here. Our TV holder. Got Detroit. What are you doing, Detroit? Hi, Dad. Hi, guys. Indy, Indy, stop by to give us a hand. And we're at the rodeo grounds. That's Rick or Rick. That's Yvonne. That's the baby. And here's me. Well, folks, we got a diaper. We got a little baby that just had a blowout. A blowout.